What's going on guys? Welcome back to DCS World and welcome back aboard the A10C Warthog for my tutorial series. We're sitting on the ground here at Soshi uh, just to quickly go over the radios. Okay, we've covered a whole bunch of systems up to this point, but we haven't covered the radios. So we're just going to briefly talk about those today. Uh, pardon me while I contort my head so that we can see the radio dials over here. And zoom in slightly. That'll work. All right. So here's our three radios. I pointed these out in our cockpit tour. We have our VHF AM COM1 right here. We have our UHF AM COM2. And then we have our VHF FM low frequency COM3. You won't really use the COM3 all that much aside from uh, intership flights. Um, if the mission, for example, you have set up where you and your you and your wingman uh, have a sort of uh, intership frequency, you might use this radio. You'll primarily talk to mission contacts as well as things like AWACSs, towers. Um, and air refueling tankers via these two radios right here. So this is where most of your work is going to come. A little bit less of your work is going to come from this radio. So uh, let's uh, let's talk about how to use the radio. So uh, the radios are turned on during the cold start process. You want to make sure each one is on the transmit and receive section. With the UHF radio, you want to make sure it's on main. And we want to make sure that uh, all of these knobs here are on the default of main or man, I believe it says. I think it says man for manual. Uh, there is preset functions, uh, but I'm only going to point out preset functions for the UHF radio. That's the, that's the one you're going to use the most. So uh, let's demonstrate how to use the radio. So for example, we're sitting on the ground here at Kabaletti. I know you can't see anything because I'm looking down, but that's fine. We're on the ground here at Cob, uh, correction, not Kabaletti, we're at Sochi. What am I saying? We're at Sochi. We're on the ground here. Now, we're gonna get Sochi's tower frequency, and it has a few from the F10 map. We've got aerodrome data here. We can also get this info from the CDU, but we're lazy. So we can talk to Sochi on 4.050.127.039.6 or 256.0. So let's, um, let's use 127.0 to talk to Sochi and see how that works. So the radio we're gonna do that on is our VHF AM here. Frequency is 127.0, so we've already got 1-2 here, so we're going to right-click till we see 127. That's a decimal there, very small, kind of hard to see, but it's 127 decimal zero. And now the way we talk to Soshi is we need to use our HOTAS mic switch. If you've got a switch on your HOTAS for the HOTAS mic switch, I encourage you to use it. However, the keyboard commands by default will be left, I believe it's left alt and numpad plus. We do that and we have our comms menu here. You can see VHF AM, that's referring to this radio here. And then we can select Sochi and we can talk to Sochi and ask for a taxi to the runway. Sochi, task one, one, request taxi to runway. Should respond here. There we go. So we got uh, taxi clearance. We're not actually going to taxi out. I'm just going to abort. Sushi, task one, one. Abort takeoff. Task one, one. Taxi to parking area. Done deal. Let's go back to the F10 map. We can also talk to Sochi on 256.0. So this is a good opportunity to show off the UHF radio, which is this guy here. So 256.0, we've got 25, we need a six. So click this center knob 
You can see the knobs have lines that point to each of their digits. Two, five, six. Okay. And now to key up our UHF radio, I believe it is... There we go. It is left alt and numpad minus. And I believe that's mic switch uh, down. Hotas mic switch down. So, but let's talk to ATC again. We're going to talk to Sochi. Sochi, Tusk, 1-1, one, one. request takeoff. Tusk, 1-1, one, one. Sochi, clear to taxi to runway 2-4. So there we go. Sochi talked back to us on this frequency. Now note, uh, well actually I have auto comms on so it won't work, but if we were off this frequency and we tried to talk to Sochi, they would not respond to us. We also have an AWACS in the air. Uh, the AWACS is on frequency 255 AM megahertz on the UHF radio. So if we switch this to 255, should hear a whole bunch of chatter. Is it 255 or 251? I don't remember. Tusk, there it is. 254. Bra, 116, 440 at 7000 flanking. So you can hear, we're hearing call callouts from the AWACS. If I tune away from that, we don't hear it anymore. So he's on 254 megahertz. And I can even call him up. I can call him up and be like, uh... Dark Star, Tusk, 1-1, one, one. Alpha, check to tanker. Tusk, 1-1, one, one. Dark Star, Texaco, at Bullseye, one 6 So you can see I asked him where the refueling tanker was, and he gave me a bullseye call about where the, where the tanker was. Um, not going to talk about what the bullseye call means in this video, but you get the idea with the radio. Now for the VHF FM radio, let's uh, see. We can actually use. Shut up, Dark Star. Uh, we can actually use the. We can use Sochi Tower again as an example. So we can talk to them on 39.6. So we're going to go down here to this radio. 3, 9, decimal six and then I believe the command is that's VHF FM so it's left alt numpad minus we see VHF FM here and go ATC we can go this should work we can go Sochi. Sochi, Tusk, 1-1, one, one. request takeoff. Huh, I'm not sure why that's not working. Did I get that right? 39.6? Yeah. That's a terrible sound. <laughs> Three nine decimal six. That should have worked. I'm not really sure why it didn't, but I think you get the idea with regards to the radios. Not super complex. You can find the frequencies for the different things in either your mission briefing usually or on the F10 map. Um, so that's really all I have to say about the radios. Uh, not too much there. So I hope you uh, got something out of that, and I'll see you for the next video. Take care.